Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Oshtowitzer DB Grinder versus Matrix, and this is going to be $10 money matches, and let's go ahead, and before we hop in, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum link down below the very top description if you want to play for money yourself and stuff like this, and we are going to see Matrix win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, they'll go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, Oh, doesn't show both. Okay, we got Stovey, Imperm, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, Ariana, Lady. They have Yeep, Delicious, Pretty, Nib, and Ash. Okay, so Nib, you know, probably won't be the best card against the uh, Labyrinth deck. Um, but they're going to go Activate, Pretty. Uh, both players getting 1,000. Discards, Delicious. They go Summon Out, Lily. Discards, Delicious. Ah, uh, that's a very bold claim, right? Don't you just, like, discard anything else? That way, if you get stopped, you you still have Delicious? Yeah, there, there's no shot that's what you were supposed to do there. Now they're going to go ahead, Imperm, and then Summon Out Lady, and then Stovey. You know, this is just end phase now. Uh, Stovey discard itself, plus Labyrinth, Labyrinth, that big welcome. Then pass. Oh my gosh, they draw Extravagance. Oh my gosh. Activate, go Banish. And then they said that's fine because they just want to ask the big welcome. Let's see, they banish a soul of rage. Okay, so they are playing the unchained stuff in the extra deck. Maybe? Uh, I mean, we gotta be, right? Because there's a soul of rage. It's just like, usually you see more than one unchained card banished off extravagance. And then they draw a welcome, transaction rollback. Okay, so this is also post-Phantom. Oh, wait, this isn't post-Phantom. This is post me. This is a current format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ariana. Go search out Kook Clock. And then set welcome. Battle. Attack. A lady attack. Yeah, then activate Kook Clock effect. Activate welcome. The thing is, like, they have to stop it. Otherwise, we summon Lovely. Yeah, so they Ash. It's just game, right? Because now we can go big welcome, go summon, bounce back. Uh, I guess we can go for lovely the first time. But yeah, lady also can go ahead, set in perm, but summon, bounce back, and then lovely effect, stovey effect, special summon, go ahead, pop from their hand. And then that's going to pop the trap, they admit defeat. But yeah, that, that is just game. Um... Like, you know, not even including the fact that, like, Imperm will just beat them anyways. Because we have, uh, we have Stovey, get rid of itself, plus Rollback, go set from deck, Rollback, copy Big Welcome, summon out Ariane, and then bounce back, like, Ariana, I guess. And then Ariane can summon out the Lady from the hand. So, then that's game. So, on to the next game. We will go ahead and we will see Matrix go first. Opening hands, we have Imperm, Ku Clock, Imperm, Lady, Chandelier. Okay, okay. Uh, so we have like two like actual hand traps. Uh, but then also the Ku Clock, Chandelier, Lady can also act as a hand trap. They have Pearly, Sleepy, Pretty, Bell, Prosperity. So normal summon Pearly, effect, chain Imperm on that. So if my opponent Imperms the Pearly, I'm most likely assuming that they have like another Imperm. Uh, so activate Prosperity, go ahead, look at the top six. Um, definitely not per Lily, per Lily. Uh, Droll is for the cross out that's in their deck, I'm guessing. And then, okay, just looking at the banishes, see yeah, a Noir banished. Ah, uh, so what, what are we even looking to grab here? Cause like, we already have Bell, definitely not Droll, definitely not Lily, definitely not Lily. So it's Valor or Pretty. It just... Uh, like none of none of them actually like do anything right yeah so like, i guess just grab pretty um because next we're gonna go into a pearl lily so we can go uh okay our pretty discard i'm gonna say sleepy discard or pretty discard go ahead summon out per lily and then per lily chain imperm onto that and then they just go ahead and pass so doesn't try to make a SP or anything, just leaves the bodies there, trying to force the opponent to out it while we also have Bell. And then they're going to go a Lady and Chandelier. So discard itself plus Ku Clock, go set Big Welcome, summon out Lady, and then pass. Um, 
couldn't you also argue that we should have just gone for welcome to play around Bell? Because, like, we know it's in their deck, right? Like, we, we literally just saw it off Prosperity. And, like, if welcome goes through, we just win anyways. Because we have activate welcome. If they have no response, then we can chain Lady, go set, bring out Lovely, Lovely, reset and Imperm. And then we can beat over everything on their field. So we're pretty much putting them on, like, nothing. Like, not a whole lot is going to be there. Uh, but we draw into a Keldo. And then activate Big Welcome, Chain Bell. And then normal summon out Keldo. I guess, like, if the card they have in hand is Ash, like, having Big Welcome is better. Because then you get to add back Chandelier. But they're going to go ahead and beat over Pearly, beat over Pearly. And then pass turn, they draw my friend Pearly, activate my friend Pearly, pay 500, chain big welcome, bounce it back. Uh, they don't get chandelier. Yep, no monster was bounced. Activate pretty, which they didn't know that they had because they discarded one last turn, or they activated one last turn. So activate, discard my friend, and then bring out Pearl Lily, Pearl Lily, go search Pearly, then normal summon Pearly, Pearly effect, look at the top three. Um, maybe instead of doing the normal summon Pearly first, maybe we should have went Pearl Lily effect to target a pretty in the graveyard, and then the opponent would Keldo to shuffle it back, and then our Pearly has a higher chance of hitting because now we have like an extra spell in the deck, right? So maybe we could have done something like that since like... I'm guessing, I was going to say, I'm guessing the next play is just going to be a Pearl Lily effect anyways. And then Chain Keldo. Oh, so they're going to put back all the spells. Yeah, like, especially if they would have put back all the spells in the first place. Then our Pearly would have had, like, a way higher chance of hitting. Like, an infinitely higher chance. Overlay, make assembled. Battle phase, attack, attack. And then main phase two. Go downward, go Zeus. And then Zeus effect the wipe, pass, they draw cosmic, set cosmic. Um, they're thinking here if they want to do anything to this. Which, I mean, you could Zeus to beat stuff like Big Welcome. Okay, pass, they draw cross out. We already knew that was in their deck because we saw draw. And then attack for 3,000, pass, they draw chandelier, pass, they draw delicious. And then they're just going to go battle phase attack. We just go battle phase attack. Okay. Set delicious pass. We only play two lily. We only play two lily in the deck. It's not like we went second this game and we sided out a lily, which like, you know, sure. But they went first and they only played two lily. I mean, they could have still tried to go into a pearly and gamble. Maybe that's just not worth it, though. Uh, they draw transaction rollback. Nice. That's a good discard. Uh, Chandelier discard itself plus transaction rollback. Set big welcome. Ku clock effect. Special summon itself out. And then just pass turn. They draw into a pearly. And then main phase. Normal summon pearly. Pearly effect. Activate Big Welcome, Chain Delicious, and then they said, wait, think. Well, I mean, they are discarding. So, what? Why didn't they just Delicious the turn before to bring out Lily? I guess it could play into a hand trap. Like, we could get hand trapped and we wanted to save our cross out. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It seems a little bit weird. So now, big welcome. Summon out lovely. Bounce back. Ku clock. Uh, they're gonna hit pretty off of the pearly, and then new chain link. Pearl lily, and then we're gonna go chain lovely. Chain chandelier. We also do have transaction rollback that could imperm this, which you know does seem pretty good there, right? Yeah. Go ahead and just shut down the lily. And then add back Chandelier, pop the Pearly. We know the card in the hand's pretty. Oh, uh, they could go into a SP to banish. So, oh, but I guess you should have attacked with Zeus first, right? Oh, they forgot they can't attack directly. I was going to say, yeah, you probably should have gone Zeus 
attack, deal 100, and then SP banish it from graveyard. Um, because now they can't attack, so, you know, they just don't get any damage in. And then activate chandelier, discard self plus Ku clock, set welcome, pass, draw Ku clock. We know they have pretty SP, so welcome goes summon out Ariana, then Ariana effect to go search. They do have SP, but they decide not to use it there. Uh, go search out Stovey Torby, battle phase, crash, then Stovey, discard itself plus Ku clock. Go ahead, set the... Big welcome, and then we have Ku Clock Graveyard effect that we're gonna activate, which will special summon itself out. Then main phase two, we're gonna activate Big Welcome, bounce back, and then Stovey Chandelier special add back. Okay, uh, Chandelier discard itself plus Ku Clock. Okay, so go ahead set field spell and then activate it. Yup, pass turn. We have. Big welcome, we have a pop of Labyrinth Labyrinth, we don't have Lovely, but you know, the Labyrinth Labyrinth will help out there for sure. We have Welcome that will set back, Chandelier to hand, they drew Cross out. They also, I was going to say, they don't have any more cats. Like, all six of the cats are gone, so they really just can't do anything. Like, you're not even going to be able to, even if they drew a trap card, they wouldn't be able to discard it. So, activate pretty, uh, yeah, they said so you can't resolve it. Yeah, so they go ahead and admit the feet. They said run back question mark. Uh, GG, GG. It's run back just for 10 again. Yes. So if I win, you send me 30. If I lose, I just get the 10 back. You're up 10 right now. If you win, you'll be up 20. Yep. Said KK. Let's get even. Okay. So said all good. We will go for. Okay, okay, okay. So we will go ahead and see the. Os to Dreister, go ahead, and they will get to go first this match. Then opening hands, we got Extravagance, Nib, Stovey, Shavara, Ku Clock. They have Shifter, Per Lily, Pretty, Happy Droll. Okay, so this is just game one, so they do main deck Shifter in their deck. Um, so they're gonna go Extravagance, go Banish. Uh, so then they're gonna go activate Shifter in response. Because they could draw onto furniture and stuff. Okay, so it hits three soul of rage out of the extra deck. Nice. Uh, they're gonna go chain Ku Clock, chain Stovey, discard self plus Shavara, set big welcome, draw imperm, lovely, and then new chain link, Ku Clock, Shavara. Also, extravagance gets banished. Uh, set escape, summon out the Ku Clock, and then activate big welcome, summon out lovely, bounce back Ku Clock, and then get the lovely effect and the stovey effect so special summon go pop from their hand and then okay does hope i guess i guess we're just hoping it doesn't hit like a spell i mean per lily is pretty good too yeah i'll just say per lily is pretty good it's like a normal summon body and then normal summon out the ku clock make the sp set in perm then pass turn they draw happy memory okay so they play three sp little knight so, okay, we are under shifter. So, activate pretty, discard troll, go summon out per lily, per lily go search, and then they're gonna chain imperm on that, activate happy, discard happy, summon out pearly, and then pearly effect. Now, in response, we chain SP to banish itself plus pearly, right? Or we just, I guess we don't have to banish itself, but we probably, okay, probably, okay, okay, okay. Uh, sure, I guess that keeps us safe in case if this hits like a my friend into a body, so that way they can't SP banish lovely, we get this back, yeah, that makes more sense, okay. So they just have field spell there, and then that's just game, because they're just going to go end phase, bring out pearly, and then pass, draw extravagance, activate extravagance, go ahead, you know, just... Draw on the called by Ash. And then we have just battle phase. Uh, beat over both of these. So beat over Pearl Lily, beat over Pearly. Also called by is broken because we can stop either cat. They draw Ash, which doesn't do anything. I was going to say, even if they drew a quick play spell. Uh, and we know the other card in their hands field spell. We could actually just let it go through. And then called by. All right. Yeah, we probably actually just ash and then save call by for a whole another turn. 
Or, honestly, we could let both go through, but I guess not, because they would go for Lily. And then draw into a Chandelier. And then Chandelier discard itself, plus Nib, and then set Big Welcome. Then Battle Phase, attack, attack. And then just pass turn. They draw into Imperm, so they admit defeat. On to the next game now. We will see Matrix go first. Opening hands, we have Droll, Extravagance, Ariana, Imperm, Cosmic. They have Yeep, Street, Bell, My Friend, Ash Blossom. So activate My Friend Pearly, pay 500, go ahead, reveal Sleepy, Sleepy, Pretty. And then gets the Sleepy to hand. Uh, I said on res, drop Droll and Lockbird. Okay, activate Field Spell, activate Sleepy, discard Bell, and then summon out Per Lily. And then, yeah, they're going to go Per Lily effect to XYZ. Go up into Baby New War, set trap, end phase, field spell, attach Sleepy, and then pass, draw Ku Clock. They're gonna go Cosmic on to field spell. Okay. Oh, so they're just hoping that the opponent messes up. Cause uh I I didn't like that cosmic. That was actually a really bad cosmic, right? Because now the opponent's gonna read that there might be like an imperm in the hand. Because why else would you have hit this? So it's like, now they're just not going to activate trap until you commit this stuff. So that way they can play around imperm. And then... Yeah, you know the last card in hand is pretty good too. They discarded bell and kept whatever this is. So it's probably ash or just another bell. Uh, yeah, they should have saved cosmic for when they activate trap. Because whenever they activate trap, they could go chain cosmic. Banish the field spell, and then they summon new war, and then you just imperm the big new war. But now they draw ash, they draw per lily. Oh, okay, so they just still go into this after the opponent reveals that they have imperm by cosmicing early. Okay, then activate extravagance, and then chain ash onto that. Okay, and then normal summon Ariana, but I mean, we still have combo. <laughs> Did they just ash again? Nah, you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> they realize their mistake. Go ahead, search Big Welcome, set Big Welcome, Ku Clock Effect, activate Big Welcome, summon out Lovely, then bounce back Ariana, new chain link, Lovely Effect to go ahead, pop my friend. We have Lovely beat over New War. We have Lovely that sets Imperm. We have Big Welcome as an interruption also. Wow, this is actually, this is actually looking really good for them. Like, yeah, the opponent made a really bad misplay with their Yeep there. They draw Cosmic. And then they're going to go Cosmic, Banish, Imperm. Okay. I mean, that was a good top deck. Uh, normal summon out per Lily. Per Lily, go search my friend per Lily. Activate my friend per Lily. Um. Shouldn't they have just... Uh, I guess they could have gone Trap, put back Baby New War... Lily try to upgrade, and then if they don't do anything there, uh, I guess it doesn't even work, because if you have to activate Baby New War, you have to discard Ash, and then all you have is My Friend, which doesn't do anything post-normal someone with no other cards. Yeah, so, but I was going to say, now on activation, they're just going to bounce back per Lily, and then Lovely pop My Friend, and they know the last card in hand is Ash Blossom, because they revealed it the last turn. You know, they are playing for money. They're not, like, testing. They're not going to pretend like they don't know what it is. Pass. They draw Butler. So, Butler. Summon out Ariana. Ariana effect. Ku Clock effect. Add back. Then Ariana. Go search for Big Welcome. And then, yeah, that's just game. So, offered a rematch. Said GG. So, I got to play Challenger Cup. Sorry. Just PayPal. Okay. So that through this game, playing the Imperm for no reason, it was obvious that you had it. Yeah, it was, but to be honest, if I wait with Cosmic until you activate Trap, it's the same outcome. But you wouldn't be able to read the play. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely what they were supposed to do. They are definitely supposed to hold Cosmic on Field Spell until they activate Trap. And then we would have had the same outcome. But, like, that's not what they did. So the opponent should have been able to read the play. Otherwise, you know... Like, the play would have been completely fine if they just went Activate Trap, Chain Cosmic, Banish Field Spell, Summon New War, Imperm New War. I think that would have been, like, you know, no misplays on either side. Uh, but, you know, there, like, was a misplay on one side and then the other side misplayed. Uh, do you want me to send now? 
Or wait until we play more to avoid fees. Okay, so sun now. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, By the way, game one, you would have had crazy line when it was Zeus 2 cat. When I pop pearly, you can attach the trap from deck with Zeus. And then beat over lovely with Zeus. Oh my gosh. I forgot. How did I forget about Zeus secret effect? There's no shot I just forgot about Zeus secret effect. I'm so bad. 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 And then Zeus and then beat over lovely with Zeus. Then SP to banish big welcome from graveyard. So I had no follow up. Oh my gosh, it could have been so different. And then shuffle back your monsters with the trap so you can summon again. True, can you send your PayPal? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I, f I missed the Zeus attach. Oh my gosh. So it's sent. Thanks, have a good one. Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, that was a big misplay. But, to be fair, from Matrix's point of view, they were just trying to go SP banish attack for game. Because they just thought it was game, but then they remembered SP couldn't attack directly. But oh my gosh, forgetting Zeus secret effect. I don't know how I did that. I don't know. I don't know how I forgot that. That's actually crazy. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like beat myself for forgetting that. There's no shot. Said, is there anything in the Discord where you can vouch I'm a normal person? Uh, because I can't vouch for you. Yeah, they. Uh, you got you got a money match like consistently over a period of time that's the only way to get like the trusted player rule in the coliseum discord because otherwise like one money match doesn't really mean too much right but all right with all that being said oh my gosh i can't believe i forgot zeus attached like that ha huh. yeah Ma matrix definitely did not play the greatest in that like there were definitely some things that could have been done differently that could have created a different outcome where they would not have lost money but down 20 bucks. All right. And we can see that it took about 53 minutes for both matches. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.